So we must come back to this question of fear. We said thought is one of the causes of fear, obviously. I am thinking about death, because I am old man or young, or you see some hearse going by with all the flowers, horses, cars. What a civilised country this is, with all the noise of death. And I see thought is one of the causes of death, one of the causes of fear, right? Do you see this obvious fact, right? Right, sirs? No. And also, time is a factor of fear, right? I am afraid what might happen. I am afraid of something I have done which others are using as a blackmail. You follow? I am afraid of that. So time and thought are the root of fear. Time and thought, there is no division between thought and time. Thought is time, right? Now, the problem is, I'm sorry, I won't use the word problem. The question is, thought is necessary, Time is necessary, right? To go from here to there. Time is necessary. And thought is necessary to drive a car, take a bus, take the train. Thought is necessary. Time is necessary at that level. Right? Now I'm saying, as thought and time are the root of fear, is thought and time necessary? There it is necessary. But psychologically, is thought and time necessary? You want you right? Is it? As long as time and thought are ne- if you think are necessary. In the psychological world, in the world of the self, in the world of psyche, in the world of inside the skin, then you will be perpetually in fear. Right? If you perceive that, if there is a perception that thought is the root of fear and time, perception, not acceptance, then you, you thought and time are necessary at the physical level. Inwardly, it's not necessary. Therefore, you're watching them. You're, watch, you're watching it. The brain is actively watching itself. Every minute to see that thought and time do not enter into its realm. This is requires you understand this requires great attention, awareness. So that the brain which has accumulated fear for centuries or for one day, that brain sees where it is necessary, where it is not necessary, therefore it is watching, like a hawk. 
So the thought and time doesn't enter into the whole process of living. You see? This is real discipline, this is the learning, as we explained the other day. This discipline means the root meaning of that word is disciple. The disciple is one who learns, who is learning all the time. He never says, I have learnt, and stays. So, as the brain is watching itself all the time so that it's active, so that there is no time for it to move or to change. 